What's going on gamers? Today, let's go over how to install mods onto your Minecraft game. If you play Minecraft, then you probably know about mods, but that doesn't mean you've ever used them or that you even know how to. Mods change the game from its original form, and it's a great way to spice up the gameplay after a while of playing the vanilla version. There are quite a few different ways to get them onto your client, and today we're going to go over a few of them. There are different types of mods ranging in genres and themes, and along with that, what API is required to run them. Keep this in mind as Forge is incompatible with Fabric mods and vice versa. Besides this, you also want to make sure the game versions for what you want don't change too much. Lots of mods don't frequently get updated to the latest version, resulting in them being unplayable if you attempt to update. In other words, we encourage using Minecraft 1.20.1, 1.18.2, 1.16.5, 1.12.2, 1.8.9, or 1.7.10. That's because these are the most popular versions for modding the game. Newcomers to the modding scene typically use this first method to install mods, especially if they don't have any third-party launchers. All that's required for this is an installed version of Forge or Fabric on the client, and then a localized mods folder to place all of the files. First, download and install Forge or Fabric to match your mods on your Minecraft launcher, which we do have a full guide to that I will link down below if you need it. After that, head to your modded profile and click the folder icon on the right-hand side, and then here you can create a new folder called mods if it isn't there already, and then place any mod files inside of it. When you're finished, you can exit the files and load up the profile to start playing modded Minecraft. Rather than using the default launcher for Minecraft, you can also consider using CurseForge. This client provides you with quick and easy access to any mods that you want, and you can separate them into different profiles. Download and install the CurseForge app on your computer, and after that, click Create Custom Profile near the top left corner. Here you can edit the profile settings until you're satisfied, making sure to check the game type and Minecraft version. And when you're done, you can click the three vertical dots and select the Open Folder option. Here you can transfer any mod files into the Mods directory. Alternatively, you can choose to use the Add More Content button to directly install mods from the app, which is going to make things a lot easier, especially for beginners. Once everything's finished, just click the play button on that profile to load them up. There are plenty of other Minecraft launchers available online, all of which can support mods. However, they might be different, such as only being able to install mod packs. The process for almost all of these clients are the same. If you want to add more mods to a profile or instance, drag and drop the files into the mods directory. This is always found in the local files for it, which should be accessible from the options, but it all depends on the exact type of launcher. Now, before we get into some common issues, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our future tutorials. If you are having trouble finding mods to install, the best place online to find them is CurseForge. While we strongly recommend sticking to this, you can also check out our guide on some other places to find them that I'll link down below. If you're unable to find the local mods directory, then just create it. This is achieved by right-clicking and creating a new folder named Mods. Just make sure to create it in the local files of the launcher you're using. If Minecraft is crashing after installing the mods, remember installing different API or game versions can result in issues. Avoid using different versions, including both Forge and Fabric instances. If you download mods and it affects the performance of your game, you can try tweaking settings to resolve the performance issues. Alternatively, you can install optimization mods that can also help fix the situation. You can learn more about this in the guide that I will have linked down below. Using mods in Minecraft is a great way to transform the entire game into something new to enjoy. Whether you want custom armor, unique mobs, better animations, or other amazing features, installing them is all going to be the same. The power is at your disposal, so get creative and explore what's possible in modded Minecraft. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.